You know, so today I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, I'm actually gonna do a little quick loop and see the impacts of how does four wheel drive impact your fuel economy going down the road. And uh, I'm gonna see how much this is noticeable in the Ram 2500 Cummins. You can kind of see fuel economy right now getting about 20. Not bad. We'll see what we get now. You can see I'm going up a hill here. But let's just see how much the fuel economy is impacted once we get into a place where we can settle in. I'll put it in four wheel drive and we'll see the difference. All right, now I'll put it in four wheel drive. Four wheel drive's engaging. Okay, gonna give you a heads up. There's gonna be about two minutes of boring video kind of showing a little bit of the differences. I go in and out of two wheel drive and four wheel drive, a little bit different driving situations, different speeds, uphill, downhill, accelerating. Some people get excited to watch the dash. Other people get annoyed and just want to see what the final answer is. Okay, now I'm going to put in two-wheel drive. I would have made this video about 30 seconds long, but some people would want to see the background of how I came up with these assumptions, and that's why I'm including it. So for those of you still watching, how about those Detroit Lions this year? What a season. It's sad to see it end, but it's still awesome to see how great they did. And I'm, I'm hoping this is the beginning of something special. Put it back in four wheel drive. As a local Michigander, there are so many years as a kid growing up all the way through adulthood that you just want the Detroit Lions to do so well and they just continue to disappoint you. It's something special going on right now. And you know, you hear Put about Dan Campbell and this whole thing on grit. It's awesome. And I really hope this uh, continues on for many years to come. The people of Michigan are just so pumped to see the Lions being decent again. Drive. Man, I'd say one, two miles per gallon looking right there. That was dead flat straight away. 60 crews is about a two mile per gallon hit. Let's put it back in two wheel drive. Okay, now we're going up an incline now. Let's see, a bit of an incline, 17 miles per gallon, 16. Let's put it back in four wheel and see how it changes. Maybe about a one mile per gallon hit in four wheel on a climb versus two wheel. When doing these mile per gallon comparison of two wheel drive versus four wheel drive. We kind of have to let out of the throttle here and there also just to let the transfer case disengage or re-engage so that you can see that the numbers are accurate. Plus it's really tough to give you a perfectly accurate number because you need basically no traffic, no headwinds, and um, <clears throat> no way to hyper mile or just kind of trying to stay at the constant speed. But from what I'm seeing, it's about one to two mile per gallon impact. All right, now let's put it in four wheel at this speed and see the impact. Back in two wheel. Yeah, see right there, you can almost see like, it went up like two miles per gallon, put it back in. Okay, that was a little bit boring, I'm not gonna lie. But I was just trying to show you some of the data I'm making for my assumptions. From what I'm seeing, about one to two mile per gallon difference of four wheel drive versus two wheel drive. Not as big as what I thought, but it's kind of interesting to know anyhow. If you find this video helpful, feel free to like the video and subscribe. Have a good day.